Hi, my name is Elliot Pearson. So today I'm going to answer some questions on Quora. I'm going to do it a little bit differently today. I'm actually going to go through and try to answer a few questions and just make it hopefully one long movie and I'll go through and upload it to YouTube and then hopefully I can cut to each of my, um, my answers. So uh, Quora is a fantastic platform. I really love it. Um, I don't get a lot of time to uh, spend on it, but I, when I do, I, I do like to try to read uh, some answers to questions and also provide some answers to questions. So for me, I'm going to start with this one right here. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to do this one from uh, Christian. Uh, so Christian asks, how many subscribers do you need to start making money on YouTube? I'm going to just open this up. And looking at it, um, yeah, I was looking at this earlier. Yes, it, it really doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. It really matters the number of uh, views you get. And a lot of people called out some really great things here. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess uh, David talks about the idea that um, you're not going to make um, that much money until, you, until I had about 40K views. And this was, of course, six years ago, so it may be really different now. Um, but basically, I do have other videos that talk about how you can make, um, like, kind of the math behind it. Because uh, you're either looking at online, either getting paid for impressions or getting paid for views. And uh, YouTube has very, very favorable uh, numbers when it comes to, uh, when they call them CPMs or CPVs. Cost per thousand views or, or cost per... I'm sorry, cost per thousand impressions or cost per thousand views. So I will add that and then uh, try to like link directly into this answer into this uh, video. <laughs> All right, so let's go back here. All right, so I, I'm gonna come back. Oh, I'm actually gonna mark this one in this site. Right. Just gonna answer later. Oops, answer later. Okay, so let me go back to my notifications. All right, so. I thought I saw some really good ones. <laughs> Give me a sec, a little one second. All right, so let me try it. Okay, so I'm going to say, so uh, we have, let me go back for a second, I think, uh, Salman asks, what are some topics slash things to make your YouTube channel about? I think the biggest thing is to find something that you're passionate about. I think that is the one thing that uh, regardless of what topic you pick, I do see Robbie and he actually says, you know, gaming, vlogging, comedy. Yeah, those are great subjects to start a channel about. But I, I think what you really want to do is um, if you want to have a channel, you got to realize this isn't something that you do once. It's not like writing a, a, a paper or doing a project for school or, you know, name anything that, that's short term. I think when you start a channel, you want to be able to build an audience and, and really build a community about it, and then about some topic, and then you do it for a period of time. It's not something that you're going to do once or twice, so you really should find something that you're passionate about. So hopefully that's a good answer for you, and if you have any follow-ups, please ask. <laughs> All right, so I marked that one. So this is a good one. So is, is Mark Zuckerberg a bad person as depicted in the movie The Social Network? Honestly, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of times movies uh, depict people a certain way so that uh, it's a lot of drama and so that people can be entertained. So I'm not sure if he's necessarily um, as evil. <laughs> now, uh, honestly, uh, I did read a little bit of the book, but I did not see the movie. So um, I'm really not sure if uh, Mark Zuckerberg is really uh, 
uh, depict it correctly. Um, I really can't speak to, uh, uh, I see Jimmy Wales actually, uh, oh wow, he's the founder of Wiki, Wikipedia. He actually, uh, he said, hey, unfortunately, uh, not much of that story is actually true. So I'm going to have to go with Jimmy on this one. So <laughs> I think it was uh, based on a true story. And when you hear based on a true story, it's normally some fabrication there. So I think that's a great question. And uh, hopefully that uh, can provide a little bit of entertainment, just like the movie. All right, I'll mark this one as ask, answer later as well. Okay. All right, we're moving along. Answer those before. Just to kind of clean up my thread. Let me, let me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go through the ones that are kind of like super easy. Ah, okay, so this is a good one. So, uh, I believe, let me close these on because I'll come back and update those in the future. So, I believe, I believe uh, the question is. What are some hacks used to get more views on YouTube? So I really hope that this is a, a more of hacking in the sense of maybe some tools and, and uh, like, like tools that you can use or things you can leverage to be able to um, do something that will get you more views. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of answers out here. I think for me, um, I think you really should use other social networks like um, I would say uh, something like a, um, um, I would say a Twitter or Google Plus. Um, if you use uh, great techniques like uh, you know you pick the correct title for your post or, or, or uh, a post that's linked into your video or a tweet that, that's linked into your video, you can actually leverage the power of social traffic to get more views. Um, I, I think one technique is really using hashtags. Hashtags work in um, both. Um, not only Twitter, but also Google Plus. So if you're picking a, a trending hash word, uh, hashtag, uh, like let's, let's let's take a look at Twitter real quick. Okay, so right now in Baltimore, we see that Adam Jones is trending. Is is is, is trending. So if we look at uh, a couple of um, tweets about Adam Jones. Um, let's see, uh, let's see, okay, so this one, um, so somebody was quoting, uh, uh, Adam Jones here, uh, so if you are a part of this conversation, you happen to have a video about Adam Jones, maybe his highlights, and, uh, maybe you had permission from, from Major League Baseball, from Major League Baseball, so you wouldn't get your, uh, your, uh, content taken down if you, uh, did a similar tweet or, or reply to a tweet with your video. Um, that may actually help you to get a, um, uh, a more traffic. And, and I guess that falls in the category of kind of the social hack. And uh, you know, that's kind of one thing I can think of. I really didn't look at the other uh, like answers here. Well, somebody says it's not that you can hack YouTube. Um, I, think it, I think hopefully your question was related to how do you like use some things that people don't really know about to be able to uh, get more traffic to your site? So I'm going to assume that um, I didn't see any follow up. So that's your answer. <laughs> Hopefully that was helpful. All right, so let's close this down. And that's a good one. I do not know the answer. <laughs> Could blockchain be as, could blockchain be used as a robust DRM system for digital content, including movies and music? Possibly. Um, I guess I, that's actually a, a good one. Actually, I, I do like this one. Uh, uh, I would say uh, possibly uh, for the simple fact that um, actually I didn't even think about this. Um, I saw this before. 
um, and I did not read this, uh, but when you look at uh, commerce, uh, a really good model, model of commerce, online commerce and music is iTunes. And I believe there are some other stores that are competing with uh, uh, iTunes as, uh, as well. And uh, iTunes, I, I think it was a really great example of, of what, like, like if you look at the distribution curve of, of kind of like, you know, the demand of all songs. And you can, like, very, uh, with, with a lot of efficiency of, of space, it really literally costs you nothing to post, like, uh, an album that somebody can download. And really, uh, long story short, Apple makes a ton of money off of the long tail. I'll put a link, so let me just make a, okay. <clears throat> a note here. So uh, that's a real great uh, um, book to read, but it, it, I basically iTunes is, is a great um, example of long tail distribution. The reason why this is important is because the way transactions happen with iTunes is the fact that you give iTunes, the iTunes stores, dollars and then you can download songs. I believe that um, when you look at uh, uh, blockchain, blockchain can not only allow you to do transactions, but the blockchain may also be able to create uh, some form of encryption or some form of hash that would determine that you would be the only one that has that particular content. Not a huge DRM fan. Um, I'm more of a information should be free kind of guy, but I think that is possible. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, that was helpful. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it is possible. And I do see some other people kind of talking about this. Uh, and that's my take. So I'll, I'll actually post this answer and hopefully uh, it resonates with someone. All right. So, oh, I think I forgot something. Yes, I did. Whoops. No, I don't want to ask anybody to answer. I just think I'm going to say answer later. And then I close. All right. So, Ooh, I think I love this one. So this is a, this is one that really uh, um, yeah, this is this is amazing. Um, so somebody asked somebody asked, um, how do I monetize a website with 2.5 million unique visitors per month? Um, so it looks like you have about 8 million page views. So let me do some some quick math here. So let's just say you have, <clears throat> excuse me. So you're using a, a couple of um, Ad networks there. I see you using um, AdSense, Tribal Fusion, and, uh, and InfoLinks. Um, so it looks like they're either paying you uh, per CPM, um, which is cost per um, thousand impressions, or it looks like they're uh, they're paying you by clicks. Um, I think you may want to go with something that uh, like a a solution that pays you uh, through RevShare because. Uh, Second. I'm really not sure about the, the content that you have, but you have 8 million pages, right? Six zeros. Um, we're going to divide that by 1,000. Okay, so that's about 1,000. So, okay, if you're, I would say, if you're not making at least 12 grand a month off of those 8 million page views, I really think you're doing yourself a disservice by not looking at other um, providers. Disclaimer, I actually work for uh, AOL, I guess Verizon now. Um, we actually have a pretty large ad network. Um, we actually have DSPs, SSPs, all types of uh, great offerings. Um, and if you like, you can contact me personally and I can actually get you connected to you know, some of our uh, people on uh, the, like, uh, product team, I'm sorry, the publisher team, and, and kind of talk about some options. But I would encourage you to talk to other um, providers as well, other ad networks. There's tons of them out there. Um, but again, disclaimer, I do work for a, a very large um, advertising company, online advertising company. Um, but yeah, I would say unless you're making that, that amount of money, then... Uh, that really having a good understanding of what type of content 
Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to talk to me uh, more, I can actually provide more information. Just go ahead and uh, shoot me a, um, an email and, uh, you know, or con contact me on Quora and I can actually provide a little bit more information. So I'll actually mark this as answer later. Hooray. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I answered a couple questions, and this seemed pretty natural and pretty fun. So we'll see once I edit this how well this comes out. But if there are any additional questions that you would like me to answer, please drop them on Quora or send me an email. This uh, video is on Facebook, so what you can do. Um, not Facebook. <laughs> this video is on YouTube. So what you can do is, uh, you know, either ask questions in, in this video that I post or send me messages there. Uh, you know, pretty much re reach, reach out to me through any channel, Google+, Plus, YouTube, Twitter, I'm on there. So uh, thank you for watching and hopefully uh, this was very helpful to someone. Thanks. Bye.